Okay, so we've got our shape and we'd like to inset it a little bit. And there are a couple ways we could do this. We could try doing the inset option. And I'm gonna do that a few times because you can see that it's starting to add these weird details. So if I undo it, you'll notice that there weren't those little kinks before. So inset is not a very good option for this. And we probably wanna inset it by a very specific amount. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate it by using Control D. You can also do that via the edit menu. There's duplicate down here. The nice thing about that is it copies it in place. The next thing I'm gonna do is go to objects, open up fill and stroke, and I'm going to change the stroke style for one of the two things that are on the page. Uh, they're identical right now, so it doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna make this stroke style, let's say I'm offsetting by an eighth of an inch or 0.125. The way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna type in the stroke width of double that, so 0.25 and press enter. And this gives this huge pink border. But when I click on it using the node editing tool, there's still nodes only on the center line, which means that as far as the this file is concerned, it doesn't actually have that inner piece quite the same way that we expect it to be. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to set it so that we have an outer line that denotes the outside border and an inner line that denotes the inside border. That it turns out is an option. We just go to the path menu and click on stroke and path. And now you can see I have an outer border or an outer set of nodes and an inner set of nodes. Now, since we were insetting it inward, we actually don't care about that outer set and we'd like to delete it. Well, one way we can do that is we can go around and actually select each of these nodes and delete them one at a time but that is kind of tedious. And at some point it stops looking normal. Like it starts to do weird stuff like this. And then it becomes a lot harder to tell which nodes you should be deleting. So I don't recommend that as, a, as an approach. Instead, what we'll do is we'll separate those two sets of lines. And the way we do that is by going to path and clicking break apart. And now it shades everything in, which is of course not really what we wanted to do. So let's go to that fill and get rid of the fill so we can at least start to see the lines. Except now our lines are invisible. So let's click on stroke paint and add a flat color. And of course, because we have our stroke style set really large, it just looks kind of like a big pink mess. So I'm gonna change this to the thickness of um, the laser that I use, which is six thousandths of an inch. And now you can see we have three sets of lines. Uh, this inner one is the one we started with. Then we've got the inset one, and we've got the outset one. Each of those is exactly an eighth of an inch uh, apart from the other, or from the center line. So now all I have to do is go back to the select tool, grab the outer border and delete it. And let's give the inner border a different color just so that we know that that's the inset one. And I could be using some of this stuff down here, but I've got the fill and stroke menu open. That's it. So this can be useful for a lot of different things. Uh, I use it a lot when I'm trying to offset for the thickness of the laser. So I might set that stroke style actually to that six thousandths of an inch. And then depending on whether it's a hole on the inside of my part or the outer border of the part, I'll either delete the one on the outside or the one on the inside. This can also be used for making a nice neat border around your shape. So if you are making some sort of sign, you may wanna actually put a border around it just for some added flair. Uh, or it can be used for lining up stitching. So uh, you can create that border if you're stitching in leather. Uh, and we'll talk about that in another, another episode. All right, if you have more questions, please leave them below in the comments. Uh, and I will see you all next time.